Hey everyone. Alright, if you're using an old hard drive, be sure to check if you need anything inside because it will be erasing it, all your data. So that's just if you're using a new one, then you don't have to worry. Today I'm just showing a RAID using the motherboard X370 ASUS. Alright, let's start. So I'm assuming already you have plugged in all your hard drives, so let's boot up the computer and go into your BIOS. Okay, go to the boot section of the tab and then see if any of your hard drives are showing up that you want it to be RAID. If it's all there, then you go back to the advanced tab, scroll down to it to the SATA mode area, and there should be a drop down. It would be AHCI a or RAID. So we're gonna choose RAID, default would be HCI. Okay, so now once you finish choosing it, you save it, you exit out, and you go to it's gonna display it very quickly right after you exit out. It's um a list of all the hard drives, and this is where you're gonna get go into the RAID configuration. So you press Control R. So right now, as you see on my top left corner where the RAID section is, there is a few hard drives. There's two one terabyte hard drive that I need to delete. Because it was, I think I believe it was in a previous in array before, so I need to delete it to move it from array, so it goes to the right side of the panel, uh, so it'll be able to create an array with. So what I'll do is I click on the delete array, and then click and then select the two hard drives with the insert key, so it will highlight green. And once I'm done, I hit enter and confirm. So now the user input where the color changed to pink. Yeah, okay, now you're gonna scroll up and down and choose um, how many, what size you want the um, ray to be. So depending on the ray configuration you have, um, if you scroll all the way up, there should be an option that says all available space. That means you'll choose all the space of all the hard drives that you're using. So you're going to choose a read and write one, and then you're going to confirm your array. Once that's done, you should have it completed. Now you should see it on the top left corner the array that you created. Once you see it there, you can go scroll all the way down to continue to boot so you can exit out the array mode. Now you will be going back into BIOS and then you can see if it shows up as the array that you created as well and then that's the confirmation. Okay, now you're back into your computer windows. Here, uh, you go to my computer and to see if the hard drive shows up. Uh, it's not gonna be there because you still need the software. So you need to open a browser and type AMD RAID drivers. Um, if you do Google search, it should be the first one that shows up. Okay, now you're in the AMD website. With it. So you're gonna choose chipset. And then the next one, you're going to choose the, um, the motherboard. And then you're going to see uh, Windows 10, Windows 7, and Linux. Here, you're going to choose whichever Windows you are using. I am currently using Windows 10. So over here, 
I am there's other ones you just choose to download the SATA and NVMe RAID or drivers or installation so but I'm just doing the SATA RAID only and I'm just going to download the installation okay now once you're done downloading the software you go to wherever you downloaded and then run the so installation and then it'll just follow some steps okay here's the pop up and then you're gonna choose accept install And once it runs, it's going to, here there's going to be another problem where it's basically telling you to make sure that your BIOS is set to RAID and then to proceed so it's much safer. Okay, now you finish installing the software and then you go to my computer. Uh, it still won't show up yet. So you go to um, the my computer icon and right click on it click on management and once you're in management click on this management once you click on that there should be a pop-up come up and that's which your RAID should show up as um, the way you have to initialize the hard drive once you finish initializing the hard drive and choosing the letter for the hard drive it should show up on your my computer and you're pretty much done Well, thank you for watching.